Hey there everybody, Richie D here. Wow, what a week. We've been uh, talking about the launch of Gear VR in the American market. Uh, I did a podcast with Reverend Cole and Ben Lang from Road to VR and answering, I think, nearly every single question that I've had on the different videos that I've got on the Gear VR. Today we're going to be talking about the must-have accessory for the Gear VR. Let's do it. All right, so straight out, I'm gonna say, if you've got one of these, you definitely need to get yourself one of these if you haven't already. This is the Google Chromecast wireless streamer. The great thing is that they've updated the app to enable a new beta uh, function called screencasting. Actually, they actually call it casting the screen. So here you can see, I've got my device right there. Now I'm gonna go into a special feature here, which you can see is called cast screen. Hopefully you can see that. Now I press cast screen. It comes up with select the device that you want. I'll select that one right there. And there, voila, it's come up on the screen right here. How good is that? Now, all I've got to do is go to home, enter this into the Gear VR. There we go. And we should start to see something almost right away. Now, I can't see it, obviously. Hopefully, you can see it. So I can see right now the uh, intro. And let's just go to home just so I can show you that this is actually working. Come on, come on. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I can see, which is the home screen and all the different apps uh, have popped up onto the front here. All right, let's have a look. Yep, it's there, beautiful. Okay, now the great thing about it, of course, is that even though you're in this environment, it's a bit like having a live Twitch in your room. If you've got other people with you and everyone wants to try it, because of course, you're gonna be the most popular kid on the block with this device right now, you still wanna be able to share that in some way. And having the Chromecast is an, an unbelievably easy way to be able to take what you've have got happening in here and show everyone what you're doing. And you can extend it obviously into uh, the different apps that you use. You can show them gameplay live as you're doing it. And then obviously hand it around to different people and everyone can watch what's happening on the screen. So that is a pretty cool feature. So, uh, and of course for me and anyone else that's on YouTube, it's a great way to be able to capture what's happening on the screen uh, and to be able to share it with everyone else on YouTube too. So make sure you do that. All right, so but what happens uh, when you've got some downtime and uh, maybe you're charging the phone again after using it for hours on end um, and your friends have come over with their phone and they want to maybe share some content, um, you know, that they, they want to share their Netflix account or show some videos from their phone that they've got uh, via YouTube, for example. But you don't want to necessarily have to go through the rigmarole of actually setting up their device. All right, so here we've got a Nexus 5, which could be our friend's device. And we've got the uh, Note 4, which is the, if you like, the commander for the Chromecast. Okay, so first thing that we'll do is actually disconnect, as you can see there, we'll disconnect uh, Chromecast from doing the screen. Okay, and we should get the screensaver come back on there. Okay, beautiful. Now, what we do now uh, is go back into the Chromecast and we're going to go to the device itself. And you'll see here that they have a new option. Just wait for it to come up. All right, so there should be a new option up there called guest mode. So I'm just gonna turn that guest mode on. So you can see that there's guest mode. I'm gonna turn the guest mode on. There we go. Now what it's gonna do now is produce a pin number. Uh, that will be available to any phone that isn't even connected to the home network. As you can see here, the pin number says 9201. Now that pin number is also reflected on the screen here as well, 9201. So that's been set up, that's all you had to do. That's set up now in guest mode. Now I've got uh, my mate's phone right here. Uh, we turn that on, we've got the latest lollipop of course. Now. This already comes up, if you can see, that comes up with a little casting symbol up here because it can actually see a little audio beacon that's coming out from the Chromecast to allow it to pair to this even though it's not even on the same network. So what we then do is if we just press that, it asks you what device you want to connect to, obviously the one here, which is the Oz. All right, so it's gonna connect. 
Now it's gonna listen for an audible tone, but because I'm talking, it may not work, but let's see how we go. All right, so it actually couldn't find or hear the noise that would actually let it pair up. But all we've got to do now is look at the screen. The pin number is 9201. So I'll just enter that, 9201. There we go, just enter that. And then we press connect and we'll just wait for it. And we should get a connection coming up onto the screen in just a moment. And there we go, YouTube is coming up. Now YouTube is coming up. Remember, this wasn't on this network at all. You can, you, the, there was no actual authentication to this wireless network. So now all I need to do is, for example, hmm, for some reason we just happen to have a Star Wars trailer here. Let's play that. Okay, so we just go here. I'll press play. It's showing up with the uh, cast, and there we go. How easy was that? That looks familiar, doesn't it? Hmm, I think I've seen that somewhere else. But there you go. So that's as easy as that. So number one, the Chromecast is great to be able to share what you're doing when it comes to uh, all of the gear VR activities that you're doing. And you've got people over and you've got a massive TV. They can at least still be involved in your virtual experience. And everyone else can be as you hand it around. Secondly, if you're not using that and you've got other people over with another uh, smartphone, it's very easy for them to be able to connect up to the Chromecast uh, to be able to share content as well. Now remember, the content that it can share is only stuff that's available online. Remember, it's using this as the control or the commander to tell it what to look for um, from an online source point of view. If you want it to show um, home videos or photos from the phone, in other words, locally stored stuff, you need to connect to the network. But other than that, it's a very easy way uh, to be able to get your uh, content uh, shared that you wanted to show, whether it's Netflix or Hulu or uh, YouTube, and have it shared between other people in a very easy way without having to authenticate through your network. So that's it for me. Uh, hit me up again with more questions, whatever you've got. Let me know what else you'd like me to test on the Gear VR. I've got some other stuff planned. But for now, I just wanted to show you this because uh, the Chromecast just came out with this uh, new feature which was the uh, guest mode. And I thought, while I'm at it, let's check out the Gear VR, of course. Until next time.